A six-sided and a four-sided dice are thrown. The sum is noted. Draw a probability grid to show the possible outcomes. Using your grid, find the probability the sum of the two dice is A, a six, less than five, or and finally seven or more. So we have to draw a probability grid, sometimes it's known as a possibility space diagram. So I'm going to start with the first die, which is going to be the six-sided one. So it's going to be numbered one, two, three, four, five, six. And then a second die labelled one, two, three, and four, because it's only got four sides. And then we are interested in the sum. So that's the addition. So 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. That process now continues. 1 plus 2 is 3, 1, 2 plus 2 is 4, 3 plus 2 is 5, 4 plus 2 is 6, 5 plus 2 is 7, and 6 plus 2 is 8. Continuing on, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8, 9, and again last line, 5, 1 plus 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Right, it says, uh, A, find the probability that the score is 6, but we mustn't realise there are 24 different outcomes in this experiment. So the probability of getting a 6, well that's all these here. And the purpose of drawing a diagram is to annotate it. So there are one, two, three, four ways of getting a six. That's four out of 24, which makes one sixth. B, probability of less than five. Less than five means we don't actually include five. So it'll be all these here. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six out of 24. And that cancels down to one quarter. And finally, 7 or more means we, 7, we actually include 7 this time. 7 or more will be that, so that will be a 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 out of 24. And then uh, 2 goes into that 5, and 2 goes into 24 12 times, so it's 5 twelve. So Okay, so this has been a probability um, question where we had to draw a probability grid and then use the grid to work out some probabilities. Thank you very much for watching.